Was that you? Was that you getting the tattoo in that clip? That was me. What was the tattoo? Uh, it's a blue heron, which is a bird. The bird? Yeah. Oh yeah, I know those birds. I grew up in Maryland, and we had a lot of those birds around. I used to see them on the way to school, so it was a meaningful. It was one of those tattoos. Aww. Meaningful. And uh, what do they like edit out you screaming in pain? Yeah, they did. All I, I screamed for the first hour of the tattoo. And then, Is that true? And then they gave me some some Percocet. Well, I will say. <laughs> Tattoo, but my sister Laura has many tattoos, and she convinced my dad many years ago to get a tattoo on his ass of my stepmother's name, Janice. Great, great. And I love an ass tattoo. He he loved showing it to people, and I had to be like, Dad, keep the front of your pants up. It's <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> Quick uh, montage of my dad being extremely stoic, getting his tattoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, you lied to me. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> it's done. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I mean. Uh, Best part of an ass tattoo. What, the screaming? Getting it and then showing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it. When people get the tattoos in places, all of a sudden, like, someone gets one, uh, like, a tramp stamp, and then they have to wear half shirts for the rest of their lives. It's the unsaid rule yeah, of tramp exactly. stamps. So on your show... Yes. The, the, there are human canvases that the contestants are, are using for that, these tattoos. That's what we call them. Do you... I mean, as you assess it and criticize it, and like, do you feel bad talking shit about something that is going to be on someone's body forever? Uh, okay, so it, all everyone who has ever gotten more than one tattoo has gotten a bad tattoo. Yes, for sure. Uh, so part of you feels like it's a rite of passage for them <laughs> to get their bad tattoo, but okay, um, okay. <laughs> but it. Part of the competition, no one's getting a terrible tattoo on Ink Master. All the tattoo artists are great, but we are trying to, to it's like splitting hairs sometimes, but we do have to find what's wrong with the tattoos to, to get people off the competition. So we have to, we have to criti critique them. It doesn't feel great. Right. They're obviously not standing, the person with the tattoo is not standing there. Oh, we, they're not? No, okay. no. Okay. No. We, like you have a screenshot of it. A, yeah, we have a... And a, you're like, this is a piece of shit, you've ruined this person's life. Yes, yes, yes. It's um, the best part and the worst part. I was talking to you before and I don't have a tattoo, but I would like to get one, but I'd want it to like... All right. I'd want it to, you know, have meaning or represent something I love, but I was like, I don't love anything. Like, I, I guess, like, okay. I like TV and I like, um, Long, one single rose. That was a joke. We, roses are great. But I was I, kidding. I have a great idea. Yeah. Oh. So, you get everyone in the audience to write their name down. I'm loving this. You put it in a hat. I put it in a hat. Put it in a hat. Oh. Put all the names in a hat. Uh huh. Draw a name from the hat, and then get it tattooed on your neck. It will. Yes. Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Answer, it yes. will make their life <laughs> forever. Let's First do of all, it. the 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 press alone that would come off of that, <laughs> and then you know you have a connection with this person that you you know in this wonderful city in New York. Someone in New York walking around saying, yeah. you know, Sarah has my name tattooed on her neck. Who's Sharon Bienvenue? <laughs> full name. I don't know. Full yeah, name. Full name. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> what tattoos have you seen that were either terrible, amazing? I will tell you one tattoo. I only heard tell of it, but it's the greatest tattoo I've ever heard of, and I feel like it's timeless. Pray tell. It's Mr. Spock. Uh, you know, from Star Trek. Love him. And he's thinking... Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy as Mr. Spock. And he's thinking, and then there's thought bubbles, and then what he's thinking of is himself with a mustache. <laughs> I would never be sick of that. I feel like that's timeless. Uh, we call those ironic tattoos. 
Oh yeah, that's like the mustache here. You go yeah, like that. Yeah, or like fun tattooed on your knee. Fun knee. Yeah. <laughs> I have a bad tattoo. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's a dragon on my leg that looks like a seahorse. <laughs> Did you want it to look like a seahorse? No, I got it in a basement when I was 17 or 18, and I, it was the guy's first or second time tattooing. Wow. Yeah. I bet you made his day like I'm gonna make one of their day. Exactly. That guy was famous, and I ruined his leg. His name was Dragon Seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, you just played with Good Charlotte for the first time in five years. We did. How was it getting back up there? It was great. Doing the classics. Thank you. Uh, it was fantastic. We had a great time. We haven't played in five years, uh, except we did play my little sister-in-law's wedding, which was really our first show in five years. Uh, but we only did four songs there, or five songs. But. Uh, we played it when we were young in Vegas. Lil, yes. Lil Wayne came out, Wheezy came out, played, uh, did, did a couple songs with us. It was awesome. Sing some tight harms with you? Yeah. <laughs> you had your hit song 22 years ago, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, just like the Robin Leach show. Just uh, like the show. I mean, if you were to do that to, like if you, if you in 2002 yes. saw you now, in 2023, do you think you would be an element in that song? Yes, I would say. Uh, well, the song was less of a critique and more of a, maybe a manifestation. Oh. <laughs> They're so with you. Uh, they are with <laughs> I don't know if I walk around and think of myself as rich and famous. Right. But, uh, you know, there's some irony there. Yeah, all right. Let's talk about Veeps, which I'm very interested in. Uh, you co-founded Veeps, which is a streaming service where people can see live Vice concerts. Presidents. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. You say vice presidents? Veeps. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, don't do better jokes than me. <laughs> Um, I actually, this is, this is, we've been working on this for seven years. It's a streaming platform for live concerts and we uh, just launched comedy. So we're, we feel like there's a place for comedy when you can't get the big special, you know, on Netflix or wherever. Uh, we feel like there's a big hole for, for comedians to develop their specials and to, you know, make their way up to the top of the comedy game. Oh, that's so exciting. I know so, so many people that would be amazing. Yeah, well, you should send them over. I will. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we, it, it, uh, it's definitely, uh, it's a great platform too for, for the future of live music is absolutely, people watch sports, they expect to be able to watch whatever game they want. People wanna see from every tour that goes out, tickets sell out, we all know how that goes. More and more, there needs to be a place for concerts and for bands to build their live audiences. Yeah. And so live streaming is important to us. And being a musician, we started it for the musicians. Hot shit, you yeah. guys. The new season of Ink Master is streaming now exclusively on Paramount Plus.